Hey there, it's Melissa and today we'll talk about relevant layering techniques for the winter season. Honestly, I'm not a big winters fan, but styling possibilities during this period are simply limitless. It allows for creative approach and it's just a perfect time to experiment with the outfits. And you know, today I'm not planning on mentioning well-known ways of styling like socks sticking out of boots or a short worn over a title neck. Although those tricks are undeniably chic and I refer to them often myself, but we have already seen these stylizations many times. So I aim for this video to present to you winter layering looks that are not basic, but more fresh and interesting. And at the same time, they're easy to pull off and interpret, well, for the most part. Some of them I would say are more daring for the real fashionistas out there. And to begin with, let's touch on a couple of basic principles of layering. So firstly, then creating multi-layered outfits, you should always start with the thinnest layer. For instance, you can go with t-shirt or a thin long sleeve and then gradually progress from thinner to thicker layers. Also, it is generally advisable to start with more tight-fitting clothing and move towards more spatials and loose pieces. This will ensure that your layered look remains well-balanced, avoiding over bulky and uncomfortable appearance. Yet it is not necessary to follow this rule all the time and here comes my first styling suggestion. A corset or a fitted leather top thrown over a loose oversized short. You can also make it more suitable for the cold weather by throwing a turtleneck underneath and you know this option is a bit unconventional but it beautifully emphasizes feminine curves and adds a cool mix of textures spicing up your overall look. Equally striking outfits you can create by layering dresses over a long sleeve top or a short, absolutely stunning look leather dresses of various length and cut, whether they are A-line shape or cinch for the belt. Well, if not leather, you can opt for dresses in denser fabrics and pair them with cotton or denim short underneath or a form-fitting top. You can go for a plain roll neck and a printed dress or experiment by mixing two different prints like stripes and checks. You know, in general, the art of achieving truly refined and intriguing layered look lies in skillfully combining various textures and fabrics. This could mean pairing absolutely contrasting ones such as light and delicate like lace or silk with more rich and dense like wool or velvet. And for this, you can use items from your spring and summer wardrobe. Maybe consider styling a snug fitting lace blouse underneath voluminous woolen sweater, or perhaps you could opt for a silk blouse as a foundational layer. Also, the combo doesn't have to be directly the opposite, like you can mix leather with tweed or wool, this will create absolutely beautiful contrast. And then denim and wool look great together as well. And here I suggest layer a denim short, not a thick denim jacket, since if there are any more layers on top of it, it will restrict your movements and make you feel uncomfortable. And by the way, here is another practical tip. If you want to ensure comfort and minimize bulk with your multi-layered outfit, consider opting for sleeveless turtlenecks and vests made of tweed or wool. You can go for a two-piece suit with a matching vest and then layer in a coat or a cardigan. On top of this, will create extremely stylish and well-put-together ensemble. Speaking about cardigans, they in essence offer super cozy aesthetic and you can wear them with basic tees, shorts and depending on your preference, you can leave them half or completely unbuttoned or closed. You know, it's up to you. But for me, it's just the details or the buttons add an extra layer of interest compared to our regular sweater. Another simple yet effective trick that will help to create stylish dimension in your outfit is pairing your ball neck pullover with button down short underneath. Alternatively, you can opt for a lightweight long sleeve or it can be a roll neck. You can even top it off with a tie to level up your style. But in any case, this second layer underneath your polo adds depth to your outfit and making it more dynamic. You can also achieve incredibly chic outfits if you wear a super light maxi skirt or dress made of lace or translucent tulle fabric and put on a jacket on top, cinching the waist with a statement belt. And while this technique is not new, I find this kind of look to be extremely elegant. And besides pairing it with a classic blazer, you can opt for a voluminous knitted sweater or let's say 90s inspired leather jacket. Or if you want to make it more up to date, you can go for a trendy jacket with a sharper contour. I believe we covered enough on the upper body layering and now shifting our focuses to the lower half, there's this intriguing trend that involves leg warmers that are basically woolen or cashmere accessories that are usually worn as a cover up on the lower part of the leg and kind of draping onto your shoes. I feel like they can be a fun accessory to try out and you can layer them on top of your tights or leggings infusing cozy winter touch into your outfits. When it comes to truly fashionable and creative approach, the trend for wearing a skirt over pants. 
definitely stands out this season. This is, of course, a very bold look. Not everyone dares to embrace it, especially given the challenge of creating a combo that is actually stylish and not, on the contrary, strange and ridiculous. However, if you decide to go for it, ready-made coordinating sets with matching skirts and pants would obviously be the safest choice. If not, you can choose midi pleated skirt that closely matches the tone of the pants, especially with a symmetrical hem that gracefully cascades downward. In such cases, the combination turns out to be as stylish and harmonious as it could be with this look. If you enjoyed this content, I recommend checking out this video on how to instantly elevate your style. On this note, I thank you for watching and we'll see you soon in my next one.